so yes i'm driving but i also wanted to take this time to go ahead and do a video as i'm driving because i spend so much time on the road and many people become a landlord by default and this normally happens when you purchase a property in one city but you end up moving to another city and do a work or maybe you have to go home and take care of a family member but for some reason you no longer reside in the same city with the property you purchased so I have found myself in that situation. I became a landlord by default because I just didn't want my property sitting empty and I decided to bring it out. So this video is going to be Weekends with Winnie Landlord Edition. So you'll notice here that I have this floor and it has some repairs that's been done to it, but recently the carpet has been removed. So in this particular clip, you can actually see the ridges that are on the floor and that's from the glue and some parquet flooring that was down prior to the carpet being um, down. And so there has been some repairs, but it's still in pretty bad shape. So at this moment, I'm placing these wood shims in the doorways of all of the doors because this is going to help me ensure that when I get ready to put down the new flooring, that everything is actually aligned. My next step was to install this underlayment. This is the Traffic Master Polythylene underlayment. And so this is just one of two that I'm using. Next, I'm going to add this quick prep high density foam underlayment. This is going to ensure that I have a smooth surface as I lay the floors. And here's my progress thus far. So if you notice, this is not your traditional hardwood planks. I'm actually using something called grip strip flooring that was created by Traffic Master. This is the perfect flooring for a rental property. These are the grip strips that are located on the tiles. You'll notice that it allows for each of the tiles to overlap. This is not a flimsy piece of flooring, but it is flexible. When you get ready to install, you just simply place it over the previous strip and then you just attach it to the strip that is already located on the flooring and you just press it down. A roller is also used for installation. Here's a close-up of a cut piece of the flooring. Now I'm going to make sure that during this installation I am doing this just like I would hardwood planks. I'm going to cut the pieces in various sizes to ensure that I will have a staggered appearance in the floor. You do not want to lay this flooring with all of the pieces and all of the seams lining up with one another. So here's the floor from another angle. And I just want to say, like, my perspective as a landlord is this is a very good choice in comparison to using linoleum. This is very easy to install as a DIY, low cost. In addition to that, you can put this flooring over any subfloor, and it also is water resistant, and it has this commercial wear use. So if you're looking for some ideas for what you should be using for your rental property i would definitely consider this grip strip flooring for more inexpensive design inspiration be sure to spend your weekends with winnie bye